What y'all, man? It's your favorite DC hero who ain't doing Marvel, bit. You hear me? Your man Bird Uzo, a.k.a. Gas Not Gas. Nigga, I said a.k.a. Gas Not Gas. You hear me? And we back with another video. Here we with a reaction, but it ain't no music reaction. We here to watch the NFL disrespect the Colts. Now, we already know... They disrespect us in the game and real life. We just get disrespected in general, bro. Nobody don't like the Colts. Except for Colts fans. And apparently Jaguar fans. Because they love to be on our UM. They love to be on our line. But right here, we got the NFL season preview. I came across this, bro. And I clicked on it immediately just to see what was going on with my Colts. But I said, you know what? How about I react to it with y'all? Hey, y'all sit right here and watch the disrespect with me. You hear me? We're going to get into this video. Leave a like. Subscribe. And we gonna get smooth into it. You hear me? Out, hurry it up. And comment your favorite team, man. So we ain't doing that bandwagon shit this year, man. I don't got time for niggas under my post. Oh yeah, that man. Say what team you like now. Say what team you like now. Let's go. Annapolis oh, Colts nine and eight in 2021. Convo has to start at QB. It's a little nine and eight missed playoffs. Shit crazy. Complicated. Lots of ins and outs to consider. He's going. This is going to be the big X factor of our season, Matt Ryan. Because we had a full, we had a complete team last year, kind of, sort of. We had a complete team last year. It's just our death and Carson Wentz. So if Matt Ryan can just do what Carson Wentz didn't do, which is protect the ball and make accurate throws most of the time, then we'll be good. But let's see what the NFL got to say about it. To no, he's gonna throw up field into the end zone. Touchdown! Yeah! And he's done it like for 10 weeks. That's all to you. That's what I and now he gets. That's what I just told him. Just presenting a statistical line of thinking here. Carson Wentz shipped off to Washington. Matt Ryan takes his place. Quick throw, caught. Gage, touchdown, Atlanta. Let's go. Matty Eyes. Hey, Matty Eyes. Feels like Wentz got pegged for the Colts trajectory going the wrong way. Certainly didn't help that in a must-win game at the end of the year against one of the worst pass defenses and overall defenses in the league, Wentz had one of his worst outings. The ball comes out. We lost to the Jaguars, fool. If we beat them, we would have been in the playoffs. We would have lost to the Jaguars and missed the playoffs, fool. Man, shut your bitch ass up. Get over it. And Jacksonville will take over. Take the shit still hurt. My friends still talk about that shit to this day, man. It wasn't that long ago, but damn, chill. Y'all some shit. Y'all team some shit. I know we was some shit, but y'all some shit. Calm down, nigga. But Wentz's overall production, much better than Ryan's last season. This is where it gets tricky. Ryan has had a great career. He's at the tail end of it. A little deja vu, right? Philip Rivers 2.0, crafty vet, smart, won't lose to the Jags in week 17 with a playoff berth on the line. Thank you. That's the idea. Gonna throw it. Such a good call. Nobody around. Wide open. So Hayden Hurst. Touchdown Atlanta on the right Jesus. side. Here's your buyer beware sticker. The Colts Rivers led offense was ninth in points per game, 10th in yards per game, and not impressive on third down. Rivers yeah. back to Pass. Late Wait, pressure coming. Steps up throws. That's going to be picked off. The Wentz offense, also ninth in points per game, a little worse in yards per game, way better on third down. So not much of a difference. Throws on the run downfield, and it's broken up, and then tipped into the end zone to T.Y. Hey, Hilton. Lucky, Wentz's lucky sack lucky. total was average, 2017. I mean, I see that T.Y. Hilton jersey. I don't even got to say nothing, man. Bring T.Y. back, man. And the stats, I already know they're going to say the stats are misleading as shit, bruh. Them seven interceptions are fucking misleading as fuck. TDs, seven INTs, most teams and QBs would take that. Desmond Patman, his first career touchdown. It's nice to open the game like that. Oh, no, no, no. Were the offenses the exact same? Of course not. JT, JT altered the Colts' offensive philosophy. Improvement at QB then comes down to intangibles. Ryan's 2021 numbers with a line that was 28th in pressure percentage allowed weren't. You hear that? So Matt Ryan with a line is going to be real dangerous, man. I'm just saying. Great. Oh, oh, diving interception. Now he's going to take snaps behind a line that was 22nd in pressure percentage allowed. And that line lost two big pieces. Left tackle Eric Fisher and guard Mark Lewinsky. I right, see. I, I ain't knew that. I ain't, but mind you, 
Wentz don't know how to get rid of the ball. Wentz trying to throw all deep balls and all that other shit. Get rid of the ball. JT is wide open for a check down, and he can run for 20 yards. What, you trying to throw it 30 yards? Like, come on, bro. Both received solid reviews from PFF in 2021. Replacements aren't known quantities either, so why would one think Ryan will have more time than Wentz? Standing in the end zone, he's in trouble. He tries to lift. I don't really think it's about him having more time than Wentz. It's the fact that he can get rid of the ball quick. Fuck is you talking about? If you get rid of the ball quick, what you need time for? The fuck? It's intercepted by Bolden. Touchdown, Titans. Wentz made a massive mistake. That plus, I'm sorry. That's a He's in one thing. Ryan will tries to left hand it up. Bruh. And then Wentz. Standing in the end zone. He's in trouble. He tried. One, two. Three, four Titans players are looking at this nigga. Who are you throwing the ball to? Brayden Smith? Who the fuck is you throwing the ball? I don't even think that's Brayden Smith. Who are you throwing the ball to? Naeem Hines is not looking at you, bruh. Who are you throwing the ball to? You throwing it to Jeffrey Simmons? Because you looking smooth at him. It looked like you literally trying to throw him the ball, fool. Like, what is you? You're right hand? You throwing it with your left, with your left hand, fool. What, what the fuck are you thinking, bruh? I'm still baffled till this day. You caused us that game, literally. Tries to left hand it out. It's intercepted by Bolden. Touchdown, Titans. Wentz made a massive mistake. Plus, Ryan needs time because he's not a scrambler. Now, Wentz did benefit from a defense that produced the second most turnovers last year. So you can Darius argue Leonard. his production should have been better. First down, he's it over the middle. Picked off. Darius Leonard, the maniac with the INT. You could also argue. Shaq Leonard, I'm sorry. Shaq Leonard. You that Frank Reich took a 16 TD, 15 INT guy and restored him to a 27 and 7 guy. Ryan was 20 and 12 last year. Add the Reich effect, and it's not a stretch to think Ryan could go 30 and 7 this year. Dude was a league MVP not that long ago. To Ryan, Washington brings four, throw for Patterson, touchdown! Third touchdown of the day. Plus, when's the last time you saw Ryan with a back like Jonathan Taylor? He never seen anybody with a back like Jonathan Taylor, boy. Dethroned the king as the top running back in football last year. You know what time it is now, though? Absolutely. It's time. It's time. It's JT time now. Hands off to Jonathan Taylor. Big hole. There he goes. Jonathan Taylor, 78 yards to the house. Touchdown. So the answer, never. Game. Ryan's never had someone that good anyway. So now what? you're to complicated topic number two with this team. Hands off to Taylor. Taylor, big run. He's at the 45, 50. Look at that number. 17 games that season, bro. 10 of those was 100 yards. And some he was a little bit less than 100 yards. He was close to it. But scrimmage yards, if they did scrimmage yards, they would be more than 10. 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, touchdown! Can Taylor put up another MVP-type campaign, well, especially if his big uglies aren't as adept at opening holes for him? History says running backs have a tough time putting up back-to-back -back monster campaigns as it is. Hey, look at King Henry, right? But we can't predict injuries, and JT is 23 years old. The other famous JT only got better from there. Jumps over the pile. He's in there. Touchdown. No, I'm blocking. I just see. Oh. I don't want to say where my hand went, but I, I, I helped push JT in there. Like, oh. 1,600 yards oh. wouldn't be a drop-off if Ryan is throwing more, too. Last year, the Colts offense rolled a 527 split. Fifth most rush attempts, 27th in pass. Rolled a 527 mm, I wonder why. split. Look at that shit right there. Most rush attempts, 27 pass attempts. Colts will hand off to Taylor. Starts right here is the left, and he walks through the end zone. Touch and you got JT, and then you got Wentz throwing fucking, keep throwing left-handed interceptions. I wonder fucking why, fool. He keep throwing left-handed three-yard interceptions. What the fuck? Down, Jonathan Taylor. Ryan will be working with most of the same cast of receivers as Wentz. Michael Pittman Jr. Hey, put up a thousand and change. Wentz going for the home run Michael downfield. Pitt. Michael Pittman high points the ball. Touch. Yeah. There wasn't a guy even around. close to him in targets on the team, and maybe more alarming, none within 600 yards of him. Michael Pittman Jr. Another touchdown. Hey, that's the way to play. Hey, that's the way to play. Gotta keep the pressure on him now, right? I know. Ice. Shit. Hey, that's the way to play. 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 Hey, that's the way
Dot that shit up. What did Indy do to improve the situation? Not much. T.Y. Hilton and Zach Pascal left, in theory leaving the likes of Paris Campbell and Ashton Dolan in their places. Tight end, Mo Ali Cox is back, but not Jack Doyle. No high ceiling first rounders to plug in either. Hard to make the case their offense can outproduce last year's bunch by a significant level, especially with the O line being such an X factor. Bro, what I honestly believe, bro, I feel like the quarterback helps the receivers. Like the receiver can most definitely make the quarterback look better. But if you have a good quarterback to throw to them good to them spats, and all the receiver got to do is worry about catching the ball, then that helps a lot, especially with younger receivers. We got all young receivers, bro. Michael Pitt, Doolin, Paris, Paris Campbell stay healthy. He's going to be dangerous. Pittman going to show going to show the whole league why he is and can be a number one receiver. He's going to be a top 10 receiver in the league when the season over. I'm telling you. And we got some Alec Pierce, bro. Alec Pierce, he might not make no funny. That nigga going to be, do dog numbers. Two big body receivers and Michael Pittman and, and uh, Alec Pierce, bro. Matt Ryan, no, bro, he, he had Julio Jones most of his career, bro. And look how Julio Jones was doing. But they trash O-line, bro. They trash team. Him and Julio was making that work. So when you got two big body receivers that can get up and go get the ball, especially Michael Pitt, that's dangerous, bro. Seems like it's just ball control with Ryan coming through when needed. I feel like you're 14 today. <laughs> So, can the defense make up some ground? We mentioned their strength taking the ball away. That was a big reason they finished ninth in points per game allowed. Jones looks left. Fires that way. Picked off. Darius Leonard at the five-yard line. Stiff arms a player. However, 16th in yards per game allowed and 19th on third down. It's very difficult. Bruh, that's because we's running that trash ass Ebra Flues cover two defense, bro. Just keep giving up yard. But Ben, but don't break defense. That's some bullshit. Fuck out of there with that shit. That's why I'm glad we got motherfucking. I can't think of his name right now, but the nigga from the Raiders, bruh. We're gonna be having more blitzes, getting more pressure, bruh. Playing more, taking more risks instead of motherfucking playing cover two all game, bro. Just getting, just getting cooked in the zones. Well, to come up with that many turnovers back to back years, especially if a lot of them were fumble recoveries. And it's a bad snap. The ball is in the end zone. The Colts have it. And oh, they're doing oh, yeah. touchdown. <laughs> Colts tied for first on that front. If they can't repeat the feat, expect regression when it comes to the scoreboard. Looking over the middle, pumps once, throws, end zone, caught! Game over! And the Ravens have won it! In this game hurts to this day, bro. Like, we were cooking these niggas, bro. Then one cornerback, Andrew Xavier Rose, go down and all everything changed. We got a nigga named Bo Pete in the game. He got cooked, like, his first play. We got cooked by doing a double move, bruh, for a TD. Overtime! Indy wasn't strong against the run. 4.4 a carry allowed. Rushed over Leonard, and it's taken down at the 40. <laughs> ah! I might edit that out. Rock I might edit that out. Oh, pass defense was average, which was sort of impressive because the Colts' pass rush was bottom of the barrel in sacks, QB hits, and pressure percentage. Trevor, looking. Fires left side. That ball is going to be caught. That's a touchdown. Laquan Treadwell. Don't blame DeForest Buckner. Seven sacks from the DT spot. Solid pressure rate. Pro Bowl. He gonna get help with Yannick. I know they're gonna talk about it, but he's gonna have some more help this year with Yannick. Quitty Pay making hopefully he make a leap this year. His uh, third year, but we're gonna see what's going on. My fault is second year, but we're gonna see what's going on. Let's go, man! He won't be working with Al Quadin Muhammad anymore. Him and his six sacks are out, but Yannick Ngakwe is in. That's an upgrade. Better pressure rate and 10 sacks. Good sack. Back on the Bears 45 yard line. And Gakwe got in again on him. They really need Quiddy Pay to make the leap in year two, though, if they want to see big gains. Just four sacks and 15 starts in 2021. Four receivers into the game. Backs 
And, and, and he's dancing in the pocket, and the ball is on the ground. It's taken away by the Colts, but the ball was stripped free by Quiddy Pay. The group that would benefit from extra heat will be a lot different. Kenny Moore made his first Pro Bowl. Give that man more pub. The Texans, and they start first and ten on a play action. Up, yeah, rolling right side, Tyrod Taylor surveys. That throws up field, and it's intercepted on the sideline. But did Kenny yeah, Moore stay in bounds? That's a heck of a way to start a game back. right there. They traded corner Rocky Asin. He played well for them. Xavier Rhodes was solid, also gone. Means Isaiah Rogers will see the field a lot more. Isaiah Rogers is one of our younger players who who shows shows some signs. Bruh, bruh gonna make that leap. I can feel it already, bruh. He gonna make that leap. That's a good thing based on what we saw of him in 2021. Three INTs, and he only made one start. Sub-80 rating allowed. And it is caught, but I think by the Colts, it is. Yeah, He's throwing it to us tonight. He's throwing it to us. Wait, Rock. Oh, that Stephon Gilmore guy they just added. Stephon just one of the best corners Gilmore. in the league. Jones a short set. Oh, the crossing round interception. Picked off by the Panthers in stride. Gilmore's got it, and he returns it to the 33 yard line. Free safety Andrew Sandejo also gone. No clear replacement just yet. Linebacking core Darius Leonard and Bobby Okereke, both 120 plus tackle seasons, both studs. Takes a oh, shotgun snap, about? backs the pass, he's got, got time. Crow. Scanning Crow's Crow's right side, and it's broken up and picked off by the Colts. Him. Bobby Okereke, Okereke, taking the pile forward to the 20-yard line. Second interception of the ball game for the Colts. Bobby Okereke. One, two, three, four, five. Five seconds away. What you said, oh, man? This feels good, bro. Damn. This feels good. Brandon Faison takes the place of Zaire Franklin at the third spot. Seems like a wash. If you buy that Ryan will be better than Wentz, then they're in the 10 win range. Let's see how they fare with their schedule. Inside the AFC South, they should take Jacksonville and Houston both times, split with the Titans. The Giants are the only lesser rated team they face outside the division. Give them a W there too. Washington, New England, and Pittsburgh are all sort of on their level. They Who the Patriots get this season? For y'all to say that they can beat us now. We beat them last year. But an upgrade at QB, a better defense, better corners. I can't even think about who the fuck they got. For them to be signed some shit like this. They got the same people from last year, if I'm not mistaken. They take two of three against that trio. Only one more win, though, from the games against the upper team. Time out. How y'all got us losing to the Cowboys? I understand the rate. We don't even know how the rate is going. Look, I understand it because they got some. They got some superstars in that team on offense. Got some great players on defense. I can understand KC because y'all be riding they nuts. The Broncos because they got Russell Wilson. Come on now, bro. I want to hear that shit. The Vikings. That, that they wide receiver versus our secondary is gonna be a tough battle. We gonna see how that end. Fuck you talking about. The Chargers. They defense unchy as fuck. I get all that, but the Cowboys, fool, come on, bro. The Cowboys, the Broncos, come on, fool. Tier type teams, and they face seven of them: KC, Denver, Las Vegas, Philadelphia, Dallas, Minnesota, and the Chargers. They have one of the tougher slates in 2022. Nine and eight with a chance at playoff football. The floor, the offense is stagnated by the lack of receiver options. Ryan really isn't any better than Wentz. Defense regresses. They could get swept by Tennessee, not be any of the strong teams, and finish 7-10. and 10. But if Ryan plays like Ryan of old, they play great situational ball, those seven games won't be a debacle. They could take three or four of them and finish 11-6. 11-6 is a good seller, especially considering... We don't know how Matt Ryan going to play uh, in the season. And we got some young-ass receivers. It, it, it's all the, Our season is really dependent on how the receivers play. And Naeem Hines will be playing more receivers. But that's really what it depends on, how our receivers going to play. How Matt Ryan and the receivers lead the offense. They don't really got to lead the offense. JT going to lead the offense, but that's how Matt Ryan can lead the offense. I know that he can. He can make those, those passes when needed, those tough passes. Those great decisions. He's not gonna make no no bad decisions, bro. That's that's really what the season really depend on. I think the defense. I think the defense like it's a no nothing needs to be said. Like the defense gonna be the defense. I feel like Shaq Shaq Leonard going. He gonna turn up this season. He gonna turn up like bro. 
I feel like this is going to be his best season of his career. I don't know why. I just got a feeling like that man going to turn up. He got a way better defense around him. He got corners, bro. They get that can hold up. Uh, they can hold. Uh, uh, make the quarterback hold the ball. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we'll make a good improvement. Seven and ten for a floor. I mean, that's disrespectful. But that's considering we lose to all the the the, the better teams. I don't. I believe I wouldn't consider the Cowboys a better team, saying that they lost to Mari Cooper and some key players on defense. I mean, I don't know. But you that was that was the NFL disrespecting the Colts. I, of course. I don't know what you thought was gonna be different, you hear me? But appreciate y'all for sticking around, man. Show man Bird also, aka Gas Not Gas, and I'ma holler at y'all. Like and subscribe, son.